hello traders and welcome to another video review today is monday the last day of the october 2022 let's find out what is going on on the uh, beginning of the new trading week and during the last day of uh, october last day of the month so the monthly close might be quite interesting today however let's find out what is going on uh, on the financial markets as you can see we got some data from the australia retail sales in line with the expectations of 0.6 percent so nothing new here manufacturing pmi data from china are worse than expected 49.2 points versus the 50 points forecast and the previous reading of 50.1 cpi data from the eurozone are scheduled for release at 12 o'clock uh, in two hours and 50 minutes the cpi data are very very important for the european central bank because they might affect the decision regarding the future interest rates so what do we have here the previous reading was 9.9 percent and the forecast is 10.2 percent so there is expected increase of 0.3 uh, percent so please stay vigilant today during the uh, cpi data release because that might be very uh, interesting um, to see how the market will react and what kind of moves will be triggered during triggered during and after this event so not many very important events uh, today during the london end uh, and uh, um, new york session uh, so let's just switch to the uh, chart and see what are majors on the forex market doing this morning we go straight to the four hour chart of the euro dollar what do we see here is an a b c correction to the 100 percent of the extension of the wave a so the wave a is equal to the length of the wave uh, c in price now it took a little bit more time for the wave c to make it however the level of 1.0094 is now the uh, target for the wave three so Mm, this mm, corrective scenario you know, looks um, very much um, uh, completed, right? If it is, of course, uh, a simple uh, correction. However, please notice the fact that this might be um, evolve. Uh, this might be evolving towards some kind of a different pattern. So, if instead of the ABC correction to the upside, we might have an impulsive pattern so how come if you take a look here we have a new swing low at the level of 9539 so it is possible to label this wave up as the wave one this wave down as the wave two major one and major two so what we need is a major wave free to the upside as you can see the wave uh, C here might not be apparently um sorry completed yet in terms of the impulsive wave because if we take into the consideration that this is wave one a b c to the downside is the wave two and now we are trying to find the wave uh wave three uh, so this might be just the top for the wave three because it's in perfect five wave so that would be the wave four and we are still missing one more wave to the upside labeled as the wave five of course the invalidation of this scenario let me just put my uh, blue arrow here invalidation of this scenario is located here and uh, let's change this let's change this outlook for uh, like this pink uh, outlook of this of course uh, arrow uh, it looks like a pink arrow and that's uh, very good and maybe I will change the labeling here uh, to the pink as well let me just change the color to the pink so everyone knows what is going on here and there you go so if this is 
possibly completed. Uh, wave 4, so this is the correction. We're still missing wave 5 as long as the wave of 0.9879 um, or 9879 pips is not violated. So it's okay to violate 9901 because it's not the wave 1 top. The wave 1 top is a little bit lower, 9878 and as long as this level here is not violated, so there is no uh, rule uh, break, wave 4 overlapping wave 1, this market is still ready to go for the wave Five. So please keep an eye on uh, 9879. If this level is violated, then A, B, C to the upside is done. And we should uh, consider the market of the euro dollar to uh, make even deeper correction, even below the last swing low in the mid term. So that's the outlook for the euro dollar. Let's find out what's going on on the pound. The British pound is looking very, very interesting because just recently we got this breakout from the A, B, C, D, E triangle. We hit the first target, 61% of the extension of the wave, uh, of the wave uh, A. I'm measuring it from the uh, lower point of the triangle. Some people might be uh, measuring it uh, from the uh, breakout point which is in that situation um, the level of the low of the wave E and as you can see that means the target for the bulls is much more higher at 1.1958 however I will stick to the uh, deepest uh, uh, still uh, I will stick to the deepest wave in the triangle I think it's much more uh, applicable in the uh, in the today's markets so the first level has been hit perfectly we got the reaction on this level we got the uh, the pullback towards the wave a old wave a high located at 1.1496 and we got a very nice bounce however if we take a look here a little bit on the recent price development we can easily see that this bounce here is not that uh, it's not that strong because the highs here after this pin bar was made somewhere somewhere here let's say this is the high for the wave wave c uh, 1.1644 uh, these highs were not taken out however it's a quite new bounce and there is still a chance for this bounce to travel higher towards the next target zone located between 1.1717 1 1.1760 and that might be the extension for the wave wave c okay so please keep an eye on this uh, probability as well uh, this is another projection from the uh, breakout of course projection from the triangle however if we are back uh, below 1.1410 it's highly unlikely for the for the British pound bulls to hit this zone uh, once again. This is of course zone marked by the orange rectangle. So this is how it looks like on the British pound. Let's find out what is going on on the US dollar to the uh, Japanese yen. US dollar, Japanese yen. Here we go. The market of the US dollar to the Japanese yen looks uh, very very uh, much completed what i mean is that oh let's switch to the daily time frame chart first what i mean is that the four hour uh, sorry the five wave advance has been done and now we are making the uh, wave abc to the downside as you can see the market does exactly what it is expected to do after the pin bar was made towards 145 uh, technical support, we have a nice bounce above the 30 day moving average. Now we are waiting for the wave B to, uh, um, to be completed and then to the uh, counter trend bounce, internal bounce of the wave B to be terminated and wave C to the downside should be developed. So how much did we retrace already of the last uh, of the last uh, market uh, downswing or the wave A, how much we, we trace of the wave A, let me say like this, we got already hit 30, um, 38 percent, there you go, this is I guess much more, there you go, 
much more applicable maybe a little bit here here we are 147 72 38% of the Fibonacci retracement hit so this is gone no immediate reaction on this level the next target as i will see is 148.53 and this is a 50 percent retracement and if not this level is the final wave b uh, top then the next one is 149.34 this is 61 percent fibonacci retracement so please keep an eye on this level keep an eye on the level of 50 percent somewhere there wave b might be terminated and wave c to the downside is developed and last but not least let's find out what is going on on the swiss franc here you are let me just uh, play with the chart there you go abc to the upside done towards 127 percent of the fibonacci extension and this uh, is of course now history we don't need that anymore three waves to the upside are done so that means this uh, this movement to the upside was still uh, a corrective um, in nature so it's not a new uh, cycle it's not a new impulsive cycle uh, we got big pin bar here let me just put the highs for you guys so you can see here that this is 1.0148 um, big pin bar and a b c to the downside was made right now you are bouncing just mm, if, uh, a little bit below the level of 30 day moving average nice three days of an of a bounce and uh, let's see where that will lead us of course the next target is the parity level but it looks like there is a very strong very strong zone located between um one uh, 051 10072 maybe not that wide however 20 pips is enough to be tested one two three four five six time breakout yes six time was the breakout so five time was tested this is very interesting zone very important zone as uh, as well so please keep an eye on the zone however it still looks like we are going to uh, make this uh, wave to the downside possible after the bounce is done the channel and the channel here um, well it doesn't look a perfect one however you get the idea of the ABC movement to that upper channel line false breakout for false trust out of the channel and then we fall down towards the middle of the channel for the moving average technical supports now we try to bounce so please keep an eye on the uh, technical resistance levels for additional pressure on this levels because of the bulls of course momentum is still 55 points so it's not that bad however if it breaks level of 50 we should expect the levels below uh, uh, 9858 for sure the local low is 9841 and we might break even this level's next support is located on 9,786 and 9,738 on the US dollar to the Swiss franc. That's everything from me for today. Thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time. So take care and bye bye.